Federated Media, which I started in 2005, acquired a company called Legit in 2011, which is a programmatic advertising company. We built that up, uh, growing it 10 times in terms of its audience and uh, reach. Um, and two weeks ago, we sold Federated Media to Lynn Media, which is a television station group with a digital media um, a division. Uh, and we retained the programmatic business, and we renamed it Sovereign Holdings. Um, and we gave it a new mission, um, which is consistent with the mission of our uh, of Federated Media's former pro programmatic business. But now we have the capital, thanks to the sale, to uh, really go after that mission. In the current digital advertising ecosystem, between the publisher, who is the proxy for the audience, and the marketer, who is the proxy for the dollar, um, there are a lot of companies in between, but the majority of them serve the marketer. Uh, trying to acquire audiences, slice and dice, and get the data and arbitrage and get the best price from the publisher. There are very, very few companies that only care about the publisher. Very few. Um, Sovereign is all about the publisher. And so we think taking that point of view is both risky and extremely opportunistic. Um, <clears throat> so what we're doing, we started as a supply side platform, which is to say we took a lot of publisher inventory and made it available through an exchange to marketers. Um, but where we're going is as a platform for understanding data uh, on behalf of publishers. And a platform where everyone who ever wanted to have some piece of the publisher action can integrate with our platform and find distribution into publishers. And all publishers who want to take advantage of services can get those services through our platform such that they are all integrated into one dashboard of insights. So we think the true currency uh, of being a publisher is not the money you might get, it's the insight and the understanding of your data. So data is the currency of publishing, that's kind of our tagline. So we're about, a, about 110, 115 people now based in Boulder, Colorado with offices in New York and San Francisco. Our big push this year is to build uh, a third party platform where people integrate. Our goal is to be, um, I think it's a pretty audacious goal, but it's to be something like a Google Play for independent publishers, where they can one-stop shop, where they can go and, uh, and, and, and take advantage of all of the uh, opportunities that are offered to them. But from a publisher's point of view, a small publisher's point of view, it's extremely confusing. Um, as a small publisher myself, I have 15, 16 different relationships uh, with third parties, and I can't manage them all. So we want to make that easy, and that's what we're, that's what we're focused on. I think brands have finally woken up to the fact that they have to have something to say now that they have the ongoing attention of an audience. It used to be you would interrupt them, now you have permission to say something interesting to them. We're in the process of renegotiating the sort of relationship between a consumer and a brand, where a consumer says, okay, you, you have something to say to me? You know, make it worthwhile. Brands are not very good at that at the moment. So in the, in the, in the past, brands, brands would work with, uh, alongside of, producers of television, producers of print, producers of radio, but increasingly brands are realizing that they need to be good at producing themselves. Um, and once they do that, they realize they, they need distribution and they need to be able to deliver the right message at the right time uh, at scale, right? That's difficult and it requires a layer of technology that we're only now building as an industry. So I think if you ask me what the future of content marketing is, I would say we've already passed the point where everyone's realized content marketing is important. We are now getting to the point where everyone realizes that they need a programmatic underpinning to delivering content. And that's why I'm pushing all my chips in on programmatic.